हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम एकता एंड दिस इज माय फर्स्ट एवर यूट्यूब वीडियो आई डिसाइडेड टू मेक दिस वीडियोस बिकॉज आई वांटेड टू शेयर माय एमसी एमसीक्यू एग्जाम जर्नी आई गेव माय एग्जाम इन मार्च 2024 ट्वेंटी एंड पास इट इन माय फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट इट वॉज क्वाइट अ चैलेंजिंग जर्नी बट ऑल इज वेल दैट एंड वेल सो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर एवरीथिंग दैट हेल्प मी थ्रू आउट माई जर्नी and i am hoping that it will be helpful for you all so let's begin let's talk about the timings and uh, the prep duration so it took me around 5 to 6 months for me to prepare for the exam and i was not working at that time i was completely giving all of my time to my studies but if you are working then obviously it's going to be a little bit more for you um if we talk about the hours that i give per day so that will be Six to seven hours in the beginning, two to three months, and eight hours to nine hours in the later two to three months. But I will say that totally depends on you and uh, how your prior knowledge. And there are lots of factors. And do not go um, on like that thing that people say that they are studying for eleven to twelve hours a day. That's not humanly possible. I feel. But if you are one of those and you can, then maybe you should. But I was not. I could study. maximum 6 to 7 hours a day and i pushed myself to 8 to 9 or maybe 10 hours in the later um last months but not in the beginning at all and i would not suggest that to you as well and i will also um suggest to take a little a bit of free time for yourself and some breaks every week so that you stay sane and don't ruin your mental health for this exam or any exam because i know our exams are never going to end and i would like to talk to you um will be resources so i uh, the resources that i found most helpful were the four things which is the blue book the amc mcq handbook and question banks M plus X or M X, any of those, whichever you prefer. I'll tell you my preferences. And uh, bridging courses, they were helpful. Yes, I did um and en get enrolled into one of the courses available online. I'll uh, put the link below, but you can get any of those. And if you don't want to, then that's completely fine as well. Then there is John Murdoch and Kaplan. These both books are quite helpful, but you don't have to read them um from <clears throat> scratch to end. That's not going to be helpful. You have to be smart about it and read the important topics only. And then there is um the guidelines, the Australian guidelines. Those are quite important, I would say. And um, just knowing that which topic to do from which guideline is also very important. Like there are different guidelines for different modules for pediatrics. Uh, RCH guideline is the best, and you should always follow that. If you are not, if you are not even following any of the theoretical books like John Murdoch or Kaplan for pediatrics, but you are doing RCH, then that you are good to go. But few topics, yes, you will be doing from theory. I'll be telling those too. Then, if you talk about gynecology and obstetrics, then I'll say SA Health is good, and they have good charts and a stepwise approach, which AMC wants you to know very well. and then if you come to medicine surgery and the general topics then our rsa gp is good but uh, do make sure that you are reading the updated ones and not the old ones and because amc do change their questions according to the new guidelines so yeah that's all these are the four five resources that i used to prepare for my exam and they were like more than enough um if we talk about um how you should prepare for the exam so i will say that do a systematic approach like if you are doing one module then try to do theory for it first then you go do um the complete mcqs which are available on the question banks uh, mdx or m plus x then you go and do the recalls for it like the module only If you follow like this for every module and you are doing a systematic approach, then there are high chances that your concepts will be a lot clearer in the end, and you will be able to solve different type of questions in the exams. Yes, recalls are really important, but understanding the theory and basic knowledge is also very important because AMC keep changing their questions. They will just keep the topic same, but if you do not know exactly what the topic is, then just knowing the recall is not going to help you. That is the like. main lesson that i learned from preparing for preparing for the exam so i will say that um do a systematic 
approach while you are preparing for it and study each module separately first make your notes or write the important topics down and then do the random recalls do not jump onto that before doing your theory and question banks yes question banks do have mistakes but they will help you in the beginning to grasp the concept and to know the question types blue book, blue book is also very helpful i think um, the topics available in the blue book are the most important topics for the exam and if you cover those topics then you are um 70 to 80 percent good to go and then more the new topics are the ones which are coming in the recent recalls like the last four months recalls five months recalls those topics are very important then you do those topics thoroughly if you are um, making a list of topics for every module and covering those along with doing the mcq practice then that's going to be good for you and um, will help you in the end to revise everything as well so do try to just list everything down yeah i think um, that's all about how you can go about it the preparation but if you want um, me to make separate videos for every module that how i prepared for pediatrics or surgery or medicine then i'm happy to make those and yeah, just comment below and i'll be making those videos soon thank you for watching the video i hope you it was helpful and um, if you have any questions just write down below in the comment boxes and i'll try to answer all of them goodbye